Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are gonna, or we are going to solve another Linux box from Cyber Cyclops. The Linux box name is Shock. Uh, and in this box, we're gonna exploit or demonstrate the exploitation of shell shock vulnerability. And upon gaining access to the machine or to the target, we will um, do privilege escalation by abusing the SOCAT utility, which is file transfer utility. Okay, so upon doing a map scan, we have found that we have got 21, 22, 80. Uh, so you might ask now, if I can I access FTP with anonymous login? Nope, the answer is no. You can't use anonymous login to access FTP, so that's why I'm going to dismiss this from the testing, and I'm going to move on to 22 and 80. So as we don't have credentials, we're going to start right from port 80. So let's go. Browser. And from the browser, you're going to type 172.31.1.3. So basically, this is um, the web page. Right? It seems like Steakhouse, so as it can be seen. They serve steak, um, the thing I love the most. Uh, so basically here we have uh, contact us reservation and some other pages. So the guys try to make this look real. Uh, okay, so what's our next step now? Next step, as you know, all the time is to enumerate the directories. So basically if you go back to our command line and from here we can launch directory buster using uh, sudo go buster and we define the word list user share here buster ah, word list dear buster and here we define big.txt and we put the IP address here once you run this command you will get a directory name which is CGI pin. Now, so basically, I want trying to access this directory. We get forbidden or access denied error. Seems like we don't have uh, permission to access this. Uh, so what does that mean? We, it means that we have Pirul. The site is running on Pirul. Possible. Uh, a possible option that the site is running on Pirum because we have CGI pin, right? So basically, we can go back and we can launch Nikto to enumerate the host more. So basically, we run sudo nikto h, and here we define the host, which is 172.31.1.3 CGI pin. Let's see what we can find with Nikto invalid IP address. Yep, so we forgot the protocol. Let's run this and see what we can get here. All right, so as you can see, the Nikto scan has finished, and upon inspecting the results, we can we see here that there is directory that goes to a file test.cgi and saying site appears vulnerable to the shell shock vulnerability. Right? Um, so, if you remember the shell shock vulnerability, guys, um, there is uh, a ready exploit to uh, exploit shell shock vulnerability. Right? So, you're saying we have shell shock vulnerability. So, basically, here you can find the exploit at this URL. There are many ways to exploit shell shock. You can use Metasploit, you can use publicly uh, available exploits at exploit database, or you can use this one, right? Just pick the option that you see the most comfortable for you. Of course, in the real pen test scenario, we're gonna we're gonna pick up the fast, the most fast and efficient one, right? Uh, and if it, if it was for me, I'm gonna select Metasploit. But as the, these videos are for learning and educational purposes. And we're gonna uh, try to diversify our options. So here is the exploit. Uh, let's download this. Uh, sudo git clone uh, 
All right. So we go to Shocker. Look at the directory and see what we have. Let's inspect the, uh, the Python script. Oh. Okay, let's go down. So here, usage examples. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna issue the command here, right? Specify the host or the remote host. Then, as you can see, we specify the command that we are willing to run against the target. Since we don't know yet the exploitability degree of the target, we're gonna let these options as they are and run the script uh, also, we need to modify the host. So let's go back and sudo ch1 give it permission to run. Okay, now we're going to run Python shocker UI. All right, then here we define the host. So dash dash host. 172, uh, the host IP was, okay, 172.31.1.3. Now, next we're gonna put dash C and the command to run. Let's leave everything as they are, right? Oh, sorry, we need first to put the directory. So the directory on the web server, the vulnerable one is CGI, I'm sorry, I'm a bit clumsy in the, Come on, okay. CGI test or CGI. Okay. Uh, yep, so I have some. Come on, what's happening? Okay. So here we got some stuff here. Let me go back to the. Uh, so dash H dash E, okay. So here we, we have some mistake. Let's go back. Dash H. All right. So here upon running the exploit, it's saying that the target is reachable. And the following URL appears to be exploitable. So we can exploit this um, URL, right? Uh, sorry, the, the, the Linux box. Um, but now, here it's saying enter a URL, URL number to exploit. So basically, we enter one, right? And it's saying enter the command that you're willing to uh, try. So for example, bing cat etc password. Let's try this, and if, we, if this command is executed, we can then try, the, try to execute a reverse shell that connects back to our command and control. So bin cat etc password. So as you can see, we were able to exploit, we were able to execute that. So the target is fully exploitable. And next we move on to gaining reverse shell. So since this is bash, right, we're gonna Try to get some kind of one liner. So, move it and test monkey one liner reverse shell. I am a fan of this one actually. I'm gonna take this one, copy that, go back, and here I'm gonna type the full absolute path bin, then we type bash. Uh, that is great. Oh, so actually we need to, do, to modify the IP. So I think let's go back here. So here we got bin dash. Our IP is 10, 0 0.7. And here we put uh, 4555. Copy that, go back. Okay. Let me remove this one. And before we execute, let's um, split the window and run let cut listener. Great, okay. So here, nc dash 
sudo and see that dash ldp for five for five. Okay. All right. Now let's execute. Paste. And great. So we get the first reverse shell. So I put ID. And that is the first connection to our remote host. Now, the next step, guys, is to do privilege escalation. Now, for privilege escalation, we need to, as we as we said earlier, all the time, we see all the time that we need to enumerate, right? You can use many, there are many enumeration scripts. You can use Linux enumeration, you can use Linpeace. There are many enumeration scripts you can use to find out the privilege escalation vector, right? So for this one, we can also try to find the binaries that have the suit bit set. But for this video, all we have to do is to try or test to see what we can run as sudo. So sudo dash l. So as you can see, we can run user bin socat, right, as a root user without supplying the password. That is great. Now to abuse a binary in Linux, uh, we need to get the help of GTFO bins. So here we go to Google, type GTFO bins. And we type SOCAT, which is file transfer utility. Uh, we look for sudo. Okay, so basically this one will not work. We will lose this one. So um, the exploitation here or the escalation vector here is split into two parts. The first one is run on your attacker machine and the next one is run on um, the victim machine. So we take this one, run it on our machine, which is Kali. Of that. And okay, we don't need this one anymore. I'll leave it. Okay, I don't know what's gonna happen if I can close it. Okay. So view, split view, and one on the bottom. Make it bigger. Paste that. Okay, so we are now listening on one, two, three, four, five. Let's go back and take this one. Browser, let's modify it a bit. Put the dot. Okay, so here is our host IP, 10.10.0.7. 10 and here is the port that we are listening on. One, two, three, four, five. Go back. So run it here. Oh. Let me go back. Sudo. Oh no, wait. Uh, what was what, what where was the directory user bin so cat? So here sudo user bin so cat. Paste. And here we get the connection back. Let's see now if we are root. And indeed we are root. So let's go over again what we have done and see what went wrong. So basically first, the web server runs Piro, under Piro, right? And there are CGI bin directory. Under CGI bin, we have test.cgi, which is vulnerable to shellshock vulnerability. We had a ready tool to exploit shellshock vulnerability. And because of that, therefore, we were able to gain limited shell access, which was here, over here. Right now, upon ex ex uh, sorry, upon inspecting what we can do as sudo, we found that the current user can run um, can run socat, which is a file transfer utility, can run that as sudo uh, as root without supplying the password, which is the second security misconfiguration of this machine. Do not uh, put. Do not let or do not configure these kind of tools to run as a root, run it as the current user. 
and if and there is a need to run a tool as sudo, there should be a, an authentication challenge for the password. That's not healthy uh, at all. Uh, so basically, we found misconfigured a tool and we abuse that tool to gain root access. Pretty easy, pretty easy stuff. Everything is ready. Just enumerate and use the available tools. So that was it. And see you in the next video.